Hi guys, so I haven't vlogged very much today. I haven't vlogged very much today at all because I don't know, I had a bunch of footage for different videos, whether it was vlogs and other videos that I didn't get to put out. Anyways, I started vlogging this to kind of show y'all, look at this. Guys, my hair is not dirty. I just washed my hair two days ago, okay? Yeah, yeah, for some people they wash theirs every two days, but for me I wash mine every, I guess, every four days or so to a week because I do like to wear my twist outs a few times because I hate day one twist out. They don't even, it, like, look at it, it's shrunken like mad, so ain't nobody want to wear their hair looking all short and stuff. <laughs> I'm joking, but you know what I mean. So for me, my best twist outs are usually on day two and day three, and then I can wash on day four. You get it? So... Um, with that said, I did use that darn entwine. I'm in the bathroom. Let me show you all. I'm pretty sure y'all have um, seen it again. I've shown you this, the Twist Divining Cream. Yes, by Entwine. And you can see that price. Like, they, <laughs> I feel like they got my leg, y'all. Because guess what? The product itself works amazing at giving you very defined twist outs, but sometimes I feel like it's just a little better than me using shea butter because shea butter works really well in my hair all by itself. However, the entwine gives it like, it gives it like a hold in a sense, but not like a crispy hold. It doesn't feel like gel. It just gives it like a nice hold where my hair still feels soft, like normal, soft to the touch. And... Um, it just gives it a nice defined curl. However, this is w what it does. Like, look at that. Like, why? I just washed my hair. And so now I'm not, like, I'm going to the dollar store and I can't even rock my hair. I gotta put something on to hide and camouflage all these dandruff looking flakes. I don't suffer from dandruff. I don't suffer from dandruff. But this product has my hair looking like I've got a head full of dandruff so anyways oh yeah I wanted to so I made a video too long story short I made a video for y'all and I I made it in the night and I thought wait a second I'm doing myself justice here making this cute little video it, it wasn't actually cute because the stories were kind of sad it was me I was on Fox 5 and I embarked upon some stories the first one was kind of crazy it was about a 14 month old baby dying um after a dental procedure and it was just hard to and it was hard for me to comprehend why a 14 month old was having a dental procedure because it had because she had cavities. First, the parents were saying that the dentist said that the child had two cavities, and then when they brought the child in to go get um, her in for her appointment, they said that she ended up having uh, six cavities, which was crazy. So then they I guess they put her under, and she wasn't able to. Her body just couldn't hold, her heart couldn't handle, I guess, the anesthesia or whatever they put her under, and the poor child died. And it was just like a very, very sad story. I I just, I don't know. There's just a series of questions that I was questioning, and it's, and it's like, well, why does the child have cavities? You know, I'm like... But then I, I said, you know what, Sarah, don't be ignorant because, you know, I'm sure there are other issues outside of the typical baby bottle tooth decay where parents leave their babies with bottle and, you know, bottles in their mouths while they're sleeping and all that milk and the sugar in the milk kind of settles around their teeth and whatnot. Y'all have heard about that before, but I was thinking, let's not be ignorant because I'm sure there are other reasons why a child could possibly have, um, cavities like I know some kids that apparently have very soft enamel because our baby teeth are only here for such a short time that it's not designed to last and for some people they're just very prone to cavities and others they're not so I want to assume that maybe those are the reasons but the story just really was really really sad because I saw the, the parents they broke down and I just couldn't imagine you know I and I know and I know that they're not the only one who's who's lost but just dealing with lo with a loss and the loss of a child is just like one of the hardest things it I can only imagine and yeah that just brought me into a place so I I guess I was making the video and my emotions were in there but it was you can just see like I continued talking about a series of other things and my emotion just kind of plateaued and it just I was like I don't want to although the topic itself is sad and I'm trying to share a little bit about it I didn't want to make such a solemn video, so I kind of just deleted it. 
but I'm, I mean, I'm sharing it with y'all now. And I, so another crazy story was about these two brothers. One be, was 15, one was 18. And they both, the, the 15 year old shot the 18 year old brother over a girl. The both of them were interested in the same girl. And then the one brother killed the other brother over a girl. I'm like, really? Like, this is your blood. This is your brother. You killed your brother for a girl. Like, and the sad part is none of them ain't going to get her now. No one's going to get her now. The one is dead and the other is probably going to go to jail. Like, oh my gosh. And on a side note, there was a good story. It was, I mean, it wasn't good. It was sweet, both sweet and sour because it was about this lady coming through a drive through in the state somewhere and her um, husband had recently passed. So she was just having a really, really bad day or just, you know, well, probably not a bad day. I'm sure it's just like an overall, you know, feeling for however long it lasts because it's, it's just tough, like I said. Um, so the it was a bunch of youths working inside the drive through and they kind of they saw that she was not feeling up you know her best and they spoke to her and it was just really cool they all out outstretched their arms and held on to her and was praying for her which was really really sweet that you know they prayed and it's just a really cool thing because in a world where prayer is really is just kind of shoved to the side and it's kind of frowned upon in certain respects and the fact that you can't even talk about God and stuff in church or in, in not in church, but in school anymore. It was just a really cool thing to see that these youths would actually like outstretch their hands and kind of, um, just pray for this woman to just let her know that she's not alone. I, you know, despite her situation, despite her predicament, like she, there are still people who can care enough to just even ask, how was your day? And are caring enough to say, let me pray for you. So I thought that was a really, really cool um, story. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, there was a bull that got her way. A bull was trying to be uploaded on a truck or something and he escaped. And then his booty had to be tranquilized like 10 times or something along the lines to then um, be uploaded on the truck. But... I guess that's I, it's like a funny one to kind of dampen the mood, but I don't, you know, I, there's just so many sad things that are occurring in the world today. And I just want to kind of like I said, just remind you all just to, you know, love on your loved ones every day and to just treat others with love and respect. And sometimes just step outside of your comfort zone and just, you know, just reach out to someone. I know given all that's going on today, it doesn't make it easy to do so because you don't know who is good and who's not. But at the same time, you know, we have to trust and obey in the one and only. So with that being said, we have to be humble servants in a sense to, uh, to kind of make ourselves available to those who are struggling and those who are in need. So yeah, sorry for being all sentimental and stuff, but, and I mean, sorry, not sorry, because I shouldn't be sorry for expressing myself like that, but I just want, did I just not, <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry, but that's what's up. I'm running to the dollar store real quick right now to go get some stuff for Mick's birthday party because it's here in a few days, and then I'm going to come home, cook, and then she needs to get her booty to youth night, and then hubby and I might possibly finish the painting over there just so I can get my life on track for tomorrow so um thank y'all for watching peace out and I just hope y'all are having a good day be thankful no matter what guys love you